Oi lads, it's Danny here today, bring you lot a lovely video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the integral of one divider by one plus sine of x dx. So before we jump into it, I want you lot to leave a like and subscribe and let's get right into it. So there's an easy way to solve this integral and there's an odd way. In this video, we're going to look at the quickest and easiest way to solve it. We are going to basically rewrite the integral, but we're going to multiply a fraction, which is basically equal to one. And we we're going to use 1 minus sine of x divided by 1 minus sine of x. The reason for it is I see this denominator and I see a possible difference of squares. So I want to apply some fraction which is going to make this solvable. And the way we do this is introducing 1 minus sine of x in the numerator and in the denominator. And that's basically equivalent to 1 once when they're divided. So we are then going to basically use the FOIL techniques and multiply these two fractions together. So we can then rewrite the integral as follows on your screen. Once the integral has been rewritten, what we will do is simplify using trig identities. Notice in the denominator, we have one minus sine squared of x. That's basically, according to trig identities, equal to cos squared of x. So we are going to write it in terms of cos squared of x. Once this has been rewritten, we are going to separate this fraction into two. We can do this by basically dividing one divided by cos squared of x and then doing sine of x divided by cos squared of x. So we can separate the two fractions, rather the two integrals using integral rules. And once this has been separated, it just renders it a lot solvable, a lot easier to solve. So the left side of the integral, 1 divided by cos squared of x, is essentially equal to secant squared of x. That can be rewritten. And this is in a format which is very easy to solve at this point. So we're going to take the integral of, sec of, of secant squared of x. And that's just a standard integral. You know, we know it by the definition of the integral of secant squared of x is going to be equal to tan of x. This other integral, therefore, is a standard u substitution integral. So you're going to basically select your u variable to be cos of x. And when you take the derivative of cos of x on both, sorry, the derivative on both sides of this equation, you are going to have du is equal to negative sine of x dx. We are going to then rewrite it in terms of dx. And once you have rewritten it in terms of dx, you substitute the dx term, basically du divided by sine of x, inside the integral. Once it's been substituted inside the integral, we are basically going to cancel out the sine of x terms because they appear in the numerator and in the denominator respectively. We are going to move the negative outside the integral and then we all we got to do now is basically do 1 divided by u squared and take the integral of that. And that's very straightforward to solve. That's going to be equal to negative 1 divided by u. We are basically going to foil the negative, basically multiply the negative, and the negatives are going to cancel out. And what you are going to be left with is 1 divided by cos of x plus c. So what's left to do at this point is do your tan, tan of x subtracted by your 1 divided by cos of x plus c, and that's your answer to this integral. So if you like enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.